When I work with students, one of the pieces of advice I give them is to start their topics and start their learning by doing questions. And the fascinating thing is as desperate as they are to, to study faster, more efficiently, as much as they may trust me, as much as they may actually agree with the logic once I explain it to them, it is still very difficult for them to actually do this. And they resist and avoid and procrastinate on this for a very long time. And I really have to push them to do this. In, in most cases, what I do is I say to them, just, just, just try it once. Just try it once. You don't have to commit to doing this forever. You know, like, don't commit to it. Just do it once. Just, just once. No, you've got nothing to lose. The reason they're talking to me is because they trust me that I can help them. I talk through the logic and they're like, yeah, that kind of makes sense. And I would just try it once and they won't do it. Why? Resistance. I don't want to do something new. I don't want to do something different. That makes me feel uncomfortable because I don't know the answer. Why? Because I'm waiting for somebody else to do my thinking for me. I don't want to think on my own because what if I'm wrong? When you're at higher levels, there is so much more subjectivity, so much more interpretation, so much more application and problem solving. You are required to engage your brain and think about it and go, what would I do here? You will always wait for somebody to give you the right answer first. You will not risk being in a situation where you go, what would I do with that? If we are always in classrooms and we are always given information before we're given problems, we learn that this is the way that problems are solved. You get all the information and all the answers first, and then you take that and you put it into the answer for a problem. But in life and in careers and in later levels of studying, that's not how the world works. We are required to apply our knowledge, think about it, problem solve, et cetera, et cetera. And in some cases, there is no right or wrong answer. The important part is your justification and your thinking process of how you got there. If we're not used to going through that thought process, we've got a problem in our careers, in higher levels of studies, at professional levels. So I can teach you not to think, but creating the habit that you will always get the information you need to solve problems first. By doing that, I unplug and I don't help you develop the skill of thinking for yourself.